Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today it is all about the base. I have been thinking of doing like an updated video like this. I think I at least have done that like base price for pale skin. I do not remember. But today I'm going to talk about foundations and concealers that is suitable for a pale skin. And these work for me and I have seven foundations, skin wheels, skin tints and four concealers. And I myself am really pale. I don't know if I looked at pale like in the camera but I am. And I have a neutral undertone. And I have found it pretty hard because it feels like the lightest foundations are usually to the pink side. If I wear a <laughs> foundation with a pink undertone, I look like a pig in my face. It does not work. So I have a neutral undertone leaning a little bit more to the yellow. So neutral or yellow undertone works for me. And this all works for me. And also like, I know this might shock somebody, but in Sweden we are really good like having the mid-range of foundations. We don't have the lightest and we don't have the darkest. It is better now than it was a couple of years ago. Now we usually have all the shade range. Before I know when I started to wear makeup like five, six years ago, it was never like... It was the lightest shade in Sweden and then like from UK I could buy one lighter shade or from the US, which I don't get. But now it's better, so I think all of these <laughs> might be the lightest shades there is in these foundations. But yeah, okay, I'm just going to stop talk and show you the, the things. I'm going to show swatches and I think I've worn all of these in at least one of the videos. I can try to find... Do I really want to do that? Yeah, I can find in which video I use what. And write it down in the description and link them if you want to see how they look. So I'm going to just get started. I don't want this video to be too long. So yeah, we just get started. And I'm going to start with a skin tint. And this one is from Glossier. So this one is from Glossier. It's their perfect skin tint. And I have it in G12. It is the lightest shade. And I sometimes use this to work. I think it works really good. It has like no coverage at all. It just smooths everything out. So you get like an even skin tone. I have a good skin. I do not have that much redness. I also have a dry skin. I didn't say that. I have a dry skin. Dry and pale and neutral. And I think this works really good if you just want something. I blend this out with my hands and it has this like... It looks like this. So I just take it on my face, blend it out with my fingers, and it just looks really good. And I have had this on for... How many hours a day am I awake? 17? <laughs> yeah. It looks really good. But this is just if you want something to smoothen it out. But I want to talk about this as well. So yeah. Glossier. Next up is foundation. That is really lightweight. It is... Actually too dark for me, but because it is such a light coverage, it works really good. And that it's the Ordinary Serum Foundation in 1.0 N. So very fair neutral. I think last year this was my absolute favorite. I really loved it. I have gone through one of these. And it's just, it gives like no coverage more than it just makes everything look good. So this I don't need to set because it sinks into the skin really good and I really like this when 
it's warm outside and I can really recommend this if you want just like a light coverage and they have quite a lot of different undertones I think and I don't think the steps between the foundations is or the shades is that big. I have also used the natural with silver something. I don't know, but they have one very fair neutral with silver and it works for me as well. So this one I really like. I haven't used it now for a while. I don't know why. Next up is a new favorite for me and this is the Bear With Me Tinted Skin Wheel from uh, NYX. And this I have in pale light. And it's like the, like the same thing with this. This is a very very light coverage. It just looks so good. It's not drying. It stays on really good without fading or when it fades it doesn't look that off. The one thing I don't love about this is that I need to set it and now in the winter I am so freaking dry. So I don't like to use powder. But this one I really like. It's a new favorite. I think the pale light shade is pretty new at least in Sweden. But this works if it was more coverage, I think I would need a lighter one, but because of the sheer coverage, this works really, really good. Next up is pre pre pretty, pretty Fresh from Colourpop. This is a Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I have it in Fair 1N. I guess this is the lightest neutral shade. I know that a lot of people love this. I have no idea why. This feels like a glue on my face. It's like never sets. I mix this with another foundation I'm going to show you later. It works really good together with that. But on its own, I thought that this was going to be everything I wanted. It is not. And uh, I'm a little bit sad about that. But I know that a lot of people love it. So you might can try it. It wasn't that expensive because it's Colourpop. <sighs> But it's just something about this. But the color, really good. The formula, not that good. Okay, and now we are going into the foundations. More like foundations. <laughs> and a little bit more coverage. So, the one I'm going to show you now was my favorite, favorite, favorite during the summer. I have this on today. I don't think it's a winter foundation for me because I am the dry. But it's the Stay Naked from Urban Decay. This is the weightless liquid foundation up to 24 hour wear. I have not had it for 24 hours ever. I have in the shade 10N and it's the lightest shade with neutral undertone. I think this is really good. It covers but it's a really light coverage. Coverage? Covers. It's a light cover coverage. It's a light coverage. So I really like it and in the summer it worked so good. It stayed on during the hot hot summer. So this is really really good. The only thing I don't like it's it's plastic and it feels a little bit cheap and it's not the cheap foundation but I really like it. Now in the winter it doesn't work that good for me because I think I look a little bit dry. Next up is one from NYX and this is the Born to Glow. This has been a super favorite in the beginning of the year. I have it in pale. This is a little bit too dark for me. I usually mix this one with a pretty fresh and it looks really good. I can like have it and it doesn't look that off. So it is like if I blend it down my neck as you always should do. It works good, but it is a little bit too dark. The one thing I love about this is how the finish is. It is really like natural and radiant. It has a little bit high coverage, but it looks really good. One thing I don't like about this though is... Like the packaging is so, so, so bad. This is a very liquidy foundation. When you try to have it like on your hand, it like goes everywhere. But this one I can really recommend. If you are the palest of the pale, it won't suit you, but I think you can get away with it. 
And the last one is a stick foundation. This is the only stick foundation I have and this is from Milk Makeup. I have it in porcelain and I I don't love this. I think I love like the finish of it, but I don't like to work with it. It is a stick foundation, as I said. And one thing I don't like about it is it's pretty like hard and it's hard to take it out with a sponge and I don't you like to use a brush. So I how I've used it, I have put it out with a brush and then I gone over with sponge. It is not my favorite, but it holds up really good. I think it is a little bit drying and I haven't found like my perfect match with a primer. I think that puts me off, but this shade is really light and it's really neutral. So it works really, really good. And that was actually all of my foundations. Now I going to tell you a little bit about concealers and I have four concealers and I might just go through these a little bit faster. I don't know. Should I start with milk maybe? <laughs> I also have the milk concealer. This is in porcelain. It's a flex concealer in porcelain. I'm not the biggest fan of this. I think it's a little bit too drying. I have problems with my eye area. It is dry and this it worked okay, not a favorite at all. I don't know if I will use this up or not. I think it's a little bit too thick for me, but the color is really good and it works really good. So this is a really pale, good, fun concealer. I also have the NYX Born to Glow in Fair. It's like in the Born to Glow, I don't know what they've done with the packaging because this has this little sponge. Like this one. I hate it. I really, really like the concealer. It is so, so good, but I hate the applicator. I don't know what they were thinking, but it is a good shade. Then I have a really cheap one and this is Catrice One Drop Coverage. I have it in True Ivory. This is the lightest you can get in Sweden. I don't know if they have a lighter shade, but I think so because this is 002. This works. Um, I have like a translucent powder over all my concealers that lightens up the concealer a little bit. So this works. This covers like no other but it's not feel it's not a thick concealer so this i can really recommend both like the color and the concealer itself and the last one that is actually my absolute favorite concealer i just love this this is from the body shop and this is the fresh nude serum concealer and i have it in zero zero light this is kind of dark and you can see that on the swatch it works because it has such a light coverage. It like doesn't cover anything, it just evens out. So it's like a tinted skin concealer, I don't know. But I really love it, love that about this. This I'm going to keep buying because this is, I just love this concealer. And do you know what? That was actually all. These are my foundations that I have that suits me with a pale skin tone with a natural undertone. So I really hope you like this video. If you have any, if you are pale and have any tips, please let me know. I think the Too Faced Born To, what is that called? Born This Way foundation. I think they have a really, really light foundation as well. I haven't tried it. And uh, yeah, my only tip, if you have a hard time to find foundation that is light enough is actually this one. This is Lightning Drops. I have the one from Body Shop. This is a Shade Adjusting Drops. I love these. These have saved me so many times. <laughs> Other than that, my tip is like go for a light coverage foundation because you can often wear like a half shade or one shade darker than you are and it won't look off and that's just how <laughs> you have to handle it 
I don't know. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and I hope that you get some good... What is it even called? I hope that you liked this video and I hope that I could help some of you. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so not miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!